Okay, you guys, so I have to film this. So I am at uh, Kensington Station. I met a young man at Dunwoody Mall. Um, I told y'all God said what America is trying to do is wrong. I would have brushed my hair or whatever, but I can't. I got to tell you guys something. I really do honestly think I'm in labor or I just need to hurry up and lay down before this baby dies in me and I don't think that's the case because I felt my cervix and my cervix was like that big I feel like I'm almost like I honestly like I feel pressure in my back um and I know they're trying to cover this up um they're even trying to say like certain COVID symptoms can be labor like what you have when you're in labor like my stomach I feel like I'm having real contractions right now. Um, this man says that he has an apartment. He says that it's not abandoned. He said, um, well, it kind of sound like to me that it is, but he's saying that he been working there and that they uh, gave him an apartment uh, uh, because he been renovating the apartments and I know sometimes they do that and it sound good but he just doing a lot of stuttering and y'all know I have been exposing the addresses and the people who have been doing this to me even my own aunt I exposed her I exposed my own family I do not care so now it's like they're just trying to bring me in abandoned places where they're not even no living, where nobody's not even really living in these uh, places as far as an actual address. I told y'all I would not stay with the man who brought me into the home that uh, looked like nobody was even really living there. Um, and now this brother say he have an apartment but that is under renovation and that's what the last guy said and it looked abandoned and I know what the Holy Spirit showed me and how would that look um, if I wound up dead in an abandoned apartment building or an abandoned house um, when I was in the back of the jail uh, the whole I saw the Holy Spirit showed me and but the witches were showing me that uh, um, that they wanted to kill me. Uh, investigator Jim McDougal had came to me in the spirit and he said that they found my body um, by an unknown detective and then I saw a little baby dead on the ground like somebody gashed the head of the baby in. And then I saw the, part, the tray, the little burgundy trays that they was giving me. Um, they had been poisoning my trays uh for 10 for well for uh a certain amount of months uh I, I know at least from january uh 2019 they had started poisoning my trays when jim mcdougall had went and interviewed the witness at the uh restaurant where i shot austin and the witness did confirm that austin was attacking me and the baby they started just poisoning me in my trays and it was burgundy trays and so they poisoned me January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So they poisoned me for seven months back there. And I, I was starving, trying not to eat the poison once I realized that they were poisoning me. And then I lost 50 pounds in the cell. And then, uh, but the Holy Spirit is like, God been showing me like he not going to let them kill me. Like, yeah, that's what they trying to do. And they have set up many, many, many other traps, you know, uh, many traps to try to get this done. And uh, they were trying to call me a mental patient in the back of the jail. And they kept bringing psychiatrists and I kept passing all of the mental evaluations um, to try to keep me from going to trial because they didn't want to expose the evidence of what Austin was actually doing to 
me and they didn't want to expose the fact that I'm pregnant and that he's abusing a pregnant woman as well. They didn't want to expose that he was abusing my child as well and that it happened in a public place and there was a witness and there was all these 911 calls and he got all these charges. They did not want this to go to trial because they know that I'm innocent um, and the black women did not want to represent me. No black lawyer because they were afraid because they know that I'm innocent um, and God said that they are going to represent me um, and they're not going to be able to keep running from my case because they're scared to be killed. They're going to have to represent me. That's what God said because I am innocent and they know it. You're going to represent me um, and then uh, the white uh, lawyers were refusing to represent me because of the American flag because they are racist and they know that I'm not guilty but they're refusing they have they were refusing to represent me so instead of taking it to trial they just dropped the charges and uh, after they poisoned me for seven months pregnant back there um, and they dropped the charges and let me out and they had set it up to just murder us um, and to just kill us and I told you how my family um, is involved and, uh, and, and friends and you know the, the country you know what I'm saying the country you know I'm pregnant and then there are a lot of black people who are scared you know what I'm saying because they know that it's true they know that I'm pregnant they know that this white male was abusing me and my child they know that I'm innocent they know that I had to protect us and they know that um, these white people uh, are devils and that they're just trying to kill anybody who would try to get involved um, to even try to stand up for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but then God showed me that black people in America are just wicked uh, to just sit there and try to harm me for money and cars and material things knowing that I'm pregnant. So right now my cervix is like gone almost. Like it's very short. Um, I'm having a lot of tightness in my abdomen and in my back. It feel like I got like a boulder in my back. Um, well, not real. It's not like that much. I got to meet this young man because he's asking me where I'm at. But I, I really don't feel comfortable with this because I don't know if this is a real apartment that he's been uh, given permission to be in or if or, or what. And it's hurting me in my abdomen. I need to lie down. So this is why they are leaving me outside. And um, I wanted to say something about this little bullshit ass battle that Keisha Cole and Ashanti is having. I curse that fucking battle in the name of Jesus because y'all over here exalting y'all motherfucking selves uh, talking about you can sing with some fucking Danny Lee with some fucking blonde hair and some fucking uh, first of all, Danny Lee, you not fucking white. You not white with that blonde hair. Your hair blonder than a white woman. You not white. And I don't mean to say it to be evil, but I don't give a fuck. Because I'm over here pregnant and people is trying to kill me in a abandoned house. And I've been, uh, the Andre, Andre Jones case been going on since 2018. Okay? And I've been crying out on social media. And for y'all to be sitting over here exalting y'all selves in this satanic ass country while I'm over here crying out for me and my children. They try to have me killed in abandoned houses. All the evidence on my fucking channels are there. But uh, he's talking about he leaving or whatever. Okay, well, shit. I just rolled all the way here. And you talking about you fucking leaving? Anyway, so um, because I need to tell the truth about what's going on. So, first of all, um, he was saying he was going to help me out to get some food or whatever. La, 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 la. But he's talking about he's leaving. Okay, whatever. But anyway, so um, y'all are over here exalting yourselves. You know what I'm saying? And I'm over here posting the evidence that they're trying to murder me. And the only thing y'all can do is dress up like some fucking witches. And then they got all this heavy makeup on. And they over there singing, trying to see, oh, who could sing the best. And they trying to get y'all to focus on that bullshit. And that's what all the celebrities is doing, trying to get people to focus their attention on these idols you know what i'm saying instead of the people i'm over here crying out for my life you know what i'm saying and my own cousin got on fucking social media and decided she wanted to try to call me a mental patient so you're a conspirator to try to have your own cousin killed and i told y'all they was trying to have me killed in the back of that fucking jail i'm pregnant and I don't want to go to no damn abandoned house. And I don't want to be up in nobody's house talking about, oh, you ain't going to have that baby up in my house. You know, and trying to uh, say, oh, it was a phantom pregnancy. Ain't no phantom pregnancy having these gosh darn contractions. 
I can barely walk. But I ain't drank no water and I need some water. So I'm about to call this young man and I'm about to see where he at. You know, I don't like his little attitude because I understand um, there he is calling me right now. Okay, because I was finna say, if a man really care about you, he gonna wait a few minutes and call you and see if everything is all right. He ain't gonna get no little cock attitude and be like, oh, I'm gone. Oh, I'm gone. You know, if he really care. And even if he, these, these people don't really care anyway, but I'm just saying, you gotta have a certain amount of poise about yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and call him because it has been 10 minutes. Let me call him. But I need, I, I, I don't appreciate uh, being in labor and people around the country plotting on my life. I don't give a fuck. And I don't appreciate you celebrities out there exalting yourselves um, instead of standing up for the people. Y'all got all that millions of dollars and that's because they worshiping the white people. This is what God was saying. Because if they really cared about black people, They'll uh, step off them platforms and be like, oh, let's go over here and help this young woman get an apartment. Or let's go over here and advocate for her to get in the shelter. Or let's go over here and see if we can help her stand for her rights to get medical care. Um, because we understand that this young white man was abusing her and she do need a few people to stand behind her. But instead, y'all want to exalt yourselves because they're helping these white folks, man. They're helping these white folks draw all the attention away from what they really doing to the rest of us.